<laughs> we'd be missing that that much. Yeah. I do miss a good movie. It's been a very long time. You know what? Was the last time I went, they, um, I think it might have been last September. They, uh, like at the time, they, they couldn't release like uh, new movies, right? Yeah. So they were doing like reruns of like old classics or yep, whatever. Yeah. So I went into like a movie theater, and I realized that you you can only sit with your friend. So you bring another person, but it's only you two in that whole room. In the whole row. Yeah. So, and it's always, and it's all like assigned seating um, at the time. So it's only you and whoever you bring and no one else. One more person, that's it. Wow. Yeah. Do you think you're gonna keep your job? There's no problem? Um, from my end, there isn't an issue. I'm more of, I, uh, I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I'm telling them, I, like, whenever you feel it's safe for, for people to start going in, like, send me in first. <laughs> but courts are closed right now? Uh, no, they are open, but they're going through the same, like, um, uh, policies as uh, I guess what's happening here just the screening yeah yeah so you're not actually like if you don't like if you're waiting for for a case like in maybe two hours or whatever you're not sitting down there anymore like you're gonna wait outside and they're gonna call you in they're going to screen you they're going to take your temperature that kind of stuff so I think uh, maybe they're seeing like a, like a reduce, uh, like they don't have as much activity, mm. but it's definitely happening still. I think like smaller cases like uh, municipal, uh, like you know people contesting their their uh, tickets. Yeah, their speeding tickets. Like that might not be happening. But I think like this is good. Like in a way, it's a good preparation. Because I think uh, workplaces were... Where... We're going to be moving to digital spaces anyway. Well, with the technology and the programs that we have available, it makes, you know, digital work a lot easier. Yeah, well, especially like office work, right? Mm -hmm. So I think like eventually it was going to happen. So we might as well have, like, maybe it's good that, we, that we're getting ready for it, in a way. Well, I need to f invent a robot who can do my job. <laughs> well, I, I said I would clone myself. I'd be like, the I'd be so mean. Actually, I'd be pretty fair. I, we, I'd just break it up with him. I'd be like, man, you're going to suck it up this week. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I'll go away, then you can go away. <laughs> well, I, I, I thought you, I, I thought you were saying you you program the robot to be like sarcastic and. Oh like, no! I'd clone myself. Uh, forget robot. I want to clone. <laughs> I'd be a slave. <laughs> no, I'd be so mean. I'd be. You're working all the time, but I I I break it up. I do it for the team. I'm like, hey, this week it'll be my week. I'm gonna I'm gonna work the seven days, and I'm gonna take one week. I off. don't know if you want that clone at home though. Like it's not you, right? And. But he is me, man. I'd be like, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna take care of him. <laughs> We're a team. I don't know, man. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't trust that clone around my dad. That means you wouldn't trust yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I trust myself. I'd be like, hey, man, you're a clone, but you're a real. You're, you're like me. Let's do this together. We got two of us now. I'd be like, man, like, <laughs> go find a place to rent. <laughs> We're not sharing spaces, buddy. I'd be like, now I have finally someone who can cut my hair better. You can shave the back of my head. I'll shave the back of yours. We won't be leaving any more little patches. Uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's not that I wouldn't trust myself, but like, 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 like when I go home to uh, to the wife or whatever, I'm like, I'm not leaving that up to my phone. Oh, I got you. You don't want to share, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving that to my phone, man. Well. Now your clone can I get his own girl then? Yeah, well. Or imagine buying like a whole pizza for yourself and then 
Like, <laughs> then you wake up and there's like eight slices missing. Well, then there you go. Wow, so your clone's gonna, you're an eater then, huh? <laughs> Man. But then again, your food bill goes up, but now you have another job too. You guys, there's two of you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I heard that, that actually, like in the middle of the pandemic, like a lot of people had to get second jobs and stuff. For sure, it's uh, those three months, man. I was I was off. This guy just like he. I don't know if I can be friends with him after this. Why is that? Because he's irritating me like constantly. He's always telling me like, oh man, like. Why can't you guys come out? I'm going to my girlfriend's house all the time. <laughs> Stop doing this. Mm. Do you have like, a lot of friends that are doing stuff like that? No, just one. And uh, I told myself, like, hey, at least for the foreseeable future, like, while this is going on, I'm not, like, I'm not meeting this guy. I'm not doing anything with him. Oh, so you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, like, the uh, part of it is I'm just kind of irritated, right? It's that someone cares so little, like, for your well-being that they're willing to risk it just to have a little bit of fun. You know what hey, I mean? Hey, but guys, man, we need the fun. That's why <laughs> I'm sure some guys are being ruthless right now. Oh, God. Yeah, man, I know. Being, see, see you're, you're coming from the married perspective. You got it good. You don't got to go anywhere. Now, those single guys or guys with, you know, they, it's hard not living with a girlfriend. They're going to... They're breaking curfew, man. Bro, like, we have Zoom. Like, do oh. Zoom calls. <laughs> oh, I don't know if, if it's going to be the same, but I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Little, is it a little sensitive here? No, I'm good. No? no I'm good. Yeah, no, it's just like I, I, I was just wishing that he would, like, you know, stop it for about a month or so just to, like, while this all goes away, right? Yeah, uh, the pandemic will really test your relationships. So. For sure. <laughs> Have you been? I've been alright. Yeah, it's just uh, again we're we're just kind of staying at home. So I guess like you, you have to find a different way to cope with it, with uh, your partner, right? Because you you see them twenty four seven now. I do anyway. Yeah, yeah. All right. There's there's no like time apart or anything like that so it's great but you know it's great, it's great but there's a but no, no it, it's not it's just different it's just different well I see my sister works from home yeah and her boyfriend works from home so they're together in a small condo all the time <sighs> it's definitely not easy at least you sound like you have a little bit more space so it's like from noon to five like you're doing your hobby or whatever I'm not going to be around for that. I guess that's what works. Uh, that's what works for us. Yeah, you guys get one heck of a honeymoon period together. <laughs> Actually, like, well, pretty much after we got married, like, like we went on the honeymoon and we came back, right? Yeah. About three months later, four months later, COVID. <laughs> You're in it. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as at first, right? Like nobody was, like like nothing was shut down, right? And then it progressively got worse. <laughs> and we're gonna find out very soon. Yeah. What they're gonna say. <sighs> like, I. I have like a, like, like a theory that people are, it's not that people are not going out, it's that things are closed. And they're all like kind of hurting into the Walmart. Mm. Th those places are pretty busy, right? The Costco, yeah. the Walmart. Like I, I had to go to get my dad's uh, medication, I think a couple of days ago, right? And there's like hundreds of people in the Walmart. There's no room, there's nothing, right? People are not distancing. They have their mask on because the store asked them to, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's tricky yeah. what's, uh, what they're going to have to decide. 
it'd be very tough to be in government right now. Doug Ford would be sweating at this point. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't lost 50 pounds yet. He's very stressed. I guess he could go either way with stress. I still remember he uh, he put out a uh, like a press release, and he said that these anti-maskers they need to get an MRI scan because I don't trust that they have brains. <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh. I have to say though, like I think we could have. We could have curbed this a long time ago if we... Well, I think what happened this summer, yeah. everyone went way too relaxed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, because after the hard lockdown, yeah. we were just like, yay, everything's gone down, we're going to go back to normal. And then that's when it came back. Yeah. Well, it started in 2019, it's been a year. That's, that is true. But I'll never forget when we shut down this March 16th was the day we shut down here. Yeah. I remember the Friday the 13th, just being like, hmm. And everyone was like starting to talk about when they were coming in. And it says like, oh, so, sounds like something's happening. Well, let's keep a, I was like, I'm gonna keep an, an eye out over the weekend. Yeah. And then that Monday when all the headlines and I was like, okay, we're shutting down. Okay. So what I have to ask was like that Monday, right? Yeah. Were you already in the office and yep. getting started and then yep. they announced it? Yep. Well, so I think day. we saw the first few patients and then we canceled everyone for the rest of the day. That must have been really annoying. And then again, we were really booked. Like we're booked out here even then three months, oh, sorry, three, four, four weeks at the time ahead. Yeah, yeah. So we get to cancel everybody not knowing when. Man, that must have been rough for you. It was interesting, and I was just about to open the nail salon next door, too. Right. So last year, the nail salon was only open for like four months. So oh, okay, so, so the nail salon was open like... Uh, it wasn't even open yet. Oh, we were sure. just about to do a grand opening. Okay. So then it got delayed till July, June, July. And we were open from July basically till November. Yeah. And then it's been shut down since then. So it's not open at the moment? No. Oh, okay. And because the business is so new, it doesn't really qualify for any help. Oh, okay. So, so you have to be open for like a certain period of time? Yeah, you have to have reports from 2019 of income to compare, like loss to, you know, to get wage subsidy, to get, um, yeah, a loan. Mm -hmm. So I gotta work here to keep next door alive, keep the dream alive. Of course. Yeah. I'm saying, man, like a lot of things we took for granted are just suffering right now. What do you miss most? My, my, most? Uh, just some friends, maybe going, like physically going to work. Um, miss hanging out with my friends. Like it's not the same, right? Like, like if you zoom in with them, it's just, I don't know. Uh, how about you? Hmm, good question. I got really lucky this summer because I, I love golf and golf courses were open this summer. Okay. But I think the biggest thing is one, like restaurants. I do like having a nice meal out. Um, and just be able to do stuff, like you said, with friends and family outside. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant though? It's, well, I go to Moxie's a lot. A oh. square one. Oh, right, right. Yeah. You have, um... They have that bruschetta, that's really good. Yeah, it's just because it's a good price, good value for what you get, and it's not too far from home. So my wife and I, we usually, you know, every other week we'll go there and, and have a nice meal and just enjoy after long days of work. Because we usually finish here, let's say on a Friday, like 7.30ish. Yeah. And then we'll go there. And um, For me, not, not because of quality, but more accessibility, it's always Denny's, man. <laughs> but Denny's is a classic. Yeah, the thing is, like, like uh, for whatever reason, like, like I'm, in, I'm in a group of about ten friends, and everybody like goes to Denny's. So, so sometimes on a Friday night, like, like, like somebody will just text us in the middle of the night, and they're saying, "Who's at Denny's right now?" <laughs> Somebody's at Denny's. 
Because then he's usually 20, 24 hours, right? Yeah. Damn. So like like that's usually the thing like we eat up like we eat at Denny's and then we head out. That's what we used to do back in the day. After going out, we'd go to a Denny's. Well, I remember um, we had a waitress there, right? She worked there every time we were there. I don't know why, but she would constantly mess up everyone's order. Like we've had entire like meals show up and not be ours. <laughs> Well, you're going on the late night shift, man. They're tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, we weren't really mad at her or anything, but it was just kind of funny, right? And, um, well, one of my friends, he's allergic to, uh, to fish. Mm -hmm. And he told her, like, can you, like, recommend anything with no eggs and no fish because I'm allergic? And what'd he get? He got an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> 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 is that what you recommended? Sorry? Is that what you brought out? <laughs> yeah. Like, she served it to him, and we were just like, no, that's egg, man. Like, you're gonna die, don't do this. <laughs> but yeah, um, those were good times. And I feel for the kids yeah. nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's rough because you. Like, like, school is open, but you can't interact the same way. Mm-hmm, yep. And you kind of feel like you're being punished for it. Yeah, gym class isn't the same. Yeah. Everything, the whole social aspect that's so nice about school. Yeah. Well, you know, um, one of my nephews, his, uh, his school actually had to shut down because one of the teachers got COVID, right? So he's... He's in a weird like space because he's at, he's at home, but he can't go, but he can't. But there's uh, there's no online tools yet. Mm -hmm. So his course was set up in a way where he really yeah. Oh man, and if for me, if I was in university during this time, I'd be oh I would be horrible because man. See, that's what I'm asking though. Like, I'm not really I, back at the at the time. I wasn't really self motivated, so. For me to just, oh, that'd be not good. I was a motivated period, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I wouldn't, like, if we were in COVID, I wouldn't pass, the, I wouldn't pass the school, man. I hear you. <laughs> See, at least, you know, I knew, like, okay, let me get up, go to class, and get myself moving. Yeah. But if it's just like, oh, just at home, I'd be like, oh, I'd be, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I'm the type of person who, who needs to be there. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it online. I'd be so distracted. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's when you turn up Disney Plus and leave them there. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure, can you imagine the parents are staying home uh, to help their kids and the kids are just watching Disney Plus? They're not happy either. It's tough. everyone right it's it's really tricky nowadays yeah like, like I think every option we have is a bad option <laughs> so we just have to pick the one that suits us most if that makes sense I don't know man I'm so glad I don't have kids for now yes for now <laughs> are you guys talking about it yet or not yet oh hell no <laughs> well, you're young still. Okay, but, but that was actually like one of the things that we first talked about. I told her like, hey, like if you're looking for someone to have kids with and all that stuff, like I'm not the one. Wow, you laid down the law. Well, then I found out that she didn't want them either, so whatever. Oh, oh don't let your mom hear that. Uh, yeah, well, she heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and? She's like, I've never been with grandkids. Like, you and your sister are not motivated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because my sister said the same thing, so. How old is your sister? Uh, she might be around 28. She's same age as you, pretty much? I'm 30, yeah. You're 30? Yeah. Oh my god, she is, your mom's so sweet too, she wants them, huh? Yeah, she'll have to settle for my nephews. <laughs> well, like, I, I have a, a third sister, she's adopted. Yeah. And um, she has two kids, so my mom gets it from her. 
It's that kind of love from her. You, but you really don't want kids right now. Uh, <laughs> Ever, or is it just right now? For, for sure right now, but... Yeah, like, like that's my headspace at the moment. I don't know, how about you? Oh, I want kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I want little baby toes running around. But just about, this about, about uh, kind of, kind of planning it. But I think we're, I think we're getting closer. Okay. But it's hard because you know we trying to get the business growing and we're busy working. But right now with the downtime, it's just like, uh oh. She's like, I want to get a. She's like, I want to get a puppy. I'm like, uh uh oh, no no, no puppy. <laughs> we're not getting a COVID dog. If you want something to take care of, little, I'll give you a baby. <laughs> no. That's a massive overgrowth. <laughs> yeah, it's a, but at least, you know, baby's going to grow up to a little toe bro too, so it's okay. No, I, I don't know, but we're getting closer and closer to it. So you just don't like dogs, or? I do, but the amount of work. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you probably... Like, with your dog, you probably won't be able to. Yeah, and if we're working again, you know, she can't bring the dog to the office, and she'll be leaving in, and we live in a condo too, so it's just like, no. It, Where's your condo? Dundas and Cawthor area. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, like, like my condo, we're just trying to, well, we have to put it below uh, market value because of the times we're in, so. We're getting a lot of visitors, but we're not getting any uh, offers. That's, the, that's the, the issue. The maintenance is a killer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can sell it. Yeah, like... And get a decent price for it. You know, one of these days it'll go. Like, it's not... There's somebody out there who wants it. Mm-hmm. But it's just a matter of... Who? <laughs> just a matter of when, sorry. And how much? Yeah. Like right now, the market value of my condo is around 530 And I'm selling it at 499 Of your life? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of hoping that uh, this, this ends pretty quickly. The issue is that we don't really like the condo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In real, like it's just, it, it's in an inconvenient place. Why, is it just really busy there? Yeah, yeah. Um, again, if we were to ever have kids, like, we couldn't do anything there. There's no, uh, there's no schools nearby, there's no, uh, like, there's no schools within walking distance. Sounds like you've thought about this if you want kids. I think you're, uh, I yeah. think you're just acting tough. You want kids. <laughs> no, just stuff you notice, like, when you're on, when you're outside, right? Like, when you're on walks or... When I was reading the uh, the information for the for the apartment, mm -hmm. uh, there were like there were no facilities nearby, so it wasn't, I don't know, it's not worth it. And I feel like the property, the 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 maintenance is actually going to keep going up. But I remember there was a, like a bunch of like property leads on the like like. There was a bunch of property liens on apartments in the building. So that just means that the apartment is basically defective. <laughs> Jeez. Like a lot of these apartments are not in a, in a sellable state, I think they called it. So, yeah. Fortunately, mine was renovated and fixed and everything before I moved in. But, yeah, it's time to let it go. Are you guys looking for an, another condo in Oakville? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have uh, two uh, viewings, I think, Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go check them out. How much are those running for now? Uh, the one I'm looking at is 479 mm -hmm. It's smaller, but it's it's more accessible. Like, there's a... There's a... a a go train station right right by the apartment. Mm -hmm. So I can just walk. It takes about two three minutes and catch the bus all the way to Toronto. And I don't have and I don't have to think twice about where taking the subway or whatever. So um, 
there's schools nearby. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about it. Yeah. I said, uh, like, n not, in, not in the immediate future. Like, we got to settle down first. Time. Wow, from never to just immediate future. You're planning, man. You're planning. No, I'm saying, like, if it were to happen. Yeah, that's called planning. <laughs> I don't want it to happen, but if. <laughs> Yeah, and on top of that, like um, when uh, when the wife moved here, mm -hmm. she didn't uh, uh, she had she didn't have her uh, her permanent residency like right away, right? So we waited five months, and when she got her permanent residency, they announced the COVID lockdowns. Wow! So she hasn't found a job. So I don't like I don't want to have kids right now in the sense that. Uh, there's not enough money to go around. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, the situation's kind of unstable. Well, at least you're sensible. Yeah. I had a friend who was pregnant before COVID, gave birth during COVID. And uh, she says it's a lot harder. Has she had a baby before? Yeah, yeah. And what was different for her? Well, she's saying, like, the older one, like, she's four, right? Mm -hmm. But she still doesn't fully understand what's going on. And like she, she doesn't understand how uh, one day she was able to go out and have fun with her friend. Like at all times. Uh, yeah. Well, the the four years what is that? Uh, junior kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if things were going right, she'd be going to school right now. Which would help a lot, right? Just yeah. to manage one baby. Yeah. And now they're both together. And, uh... Is, 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 is she married? Yeah. Is the husband work from home too? Because then there'd be a third baby. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he works from home. Oh my God, so she's, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of all the babies. Uh, if I have to go to one more gender reveal party. <laughs> <laughs> I always lose, man. <laughs> like, I always lose those games. It's okay, man. You only have 50% 50, 50 chance, so you're okay. No, I feel like I have 0% chance. <laughs> like, okay, so the first time, right, it was yeah. a girl. Actually, crap, both times it was a girl. And both times, I guess, the boy. It's okay. One day you're going to get it right. Yeah, but like, I feel like this time I'll guess a girl and it'll be like a boy. And I still won't get that bottle of wine. <laughs> I've never been to a gender reveal party. And you should. <laughs> oh my gosh! If my if I have a baby girl first, I, I don't know. I can't call I can't call that one a little baby bro, little baby toe bro, little baby toe bra. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> I gotta think. Of, I gotta change the whole thing. No. And my team is blue. I gotta make it pink now. I'm gonna make a pink one. And put some nice hair on my Tobro logo. Or, like, she could adopt your uh, your, your wife's nail salon name. Like. Th that's true. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna probably do what my dad did. He's gonna never tell me to do this job, but he's gonna make me do or be part of the whole thing and always help out. Oh. Okay. He never told me to do this, but when it came down to it, it's like this is the only thing I knew. But you know, like, I, I think that's healthy parenting, though. Like, you don't force your kids into, like, into something that, that they don't want to do, right? No, that, that is good. He never forced me to go into it. He just forced me to take off shoes and socks for all the old it. people at the nursing home, which was horrible. But Bro, if I had to be a chef like my dad, like, I guarantee people will be getting salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot cook. No, I cannot. <laughs> Man, I can barely boil water. Do they still have the restaurant? Uh, no, no, not anymore. Like when um, when all the restrictions started, my dad was just kind of like screwed. I'm retired. Oh, that's tough. He was already like what, like 67. So he just said like, forget it. What's the point? Yeah. 
Yeah, man, if I had to follow my dad's footsteps, like, there'd be a lot of hospital visits. <laughs> well, make sure if you ever open one, you don't invite me. <laughs> Imagine getting my first invite. <laughs> I'll just send you a bottle of wine. <laughs> I'll ask, it, I'll ask, it, I'll ask it for I'll ask for takeout and make sure I nuke it in the microwave first. After that glowing recommendation, I don't think you'll even set foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the chef tells me he's he's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thing is, like, I, like I was okay with uh, cooking some of the simpler stuff for my dad, right? Like. Um, you know, like cafeteria food, that, like, mm -hmm. that's fine. That, that, that you can just deep fry and send it on its way. But, like when he made things like, uh, what do you call it, like spicy rice or like, you know, like, like the catering stuff. That's when I, uh, that's when I tap out. You mean the real cooking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did they even sell it or they just closed up? Uh, they sold it. Okay, that's good for them. Yeah. Was it hard for them to get out of it? Uh, for my dad? No, yeah. like, it was just... Honestly, the uh, the minute you put it up, somebody uh, somebody picked it up. So. Well, not the minute, but like as soon as he put it up, it didn't take very long for someone to, uh, to buy it off him. But it didn't sell for much. <laughs> It's, uh, it's tough nowadays. Yeah, I I think he bought it for fifteen k. Like that, like that space, right? Yep. And he sold it for like twenty. So. But if you know, it was able to support the families, make some money yeah. for the years, and hey, you walked away. Yeah. Um, one of the things I didn't know actually was that when you buy that space, you buy all the vending machines in the, in the school as well. Really? So, yeah. So, he'd like, this was the worst part. Like, he'd, like every month or so, he'd go and collect like, like everything that, that, that you'd find like in the, in the vending machines, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did they do pretty good? Sorry? Did those machines do pretty good? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the only thing is they don't sell pop, right? Like, they, they can't do that anymore? No? No, they don't sell pop. W was that like a new rule? Yeah, yeah. What? So, so you're buying like orange juice or like chips or whatever. But Why did they do that for the kids' sake to be healthier? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> then, but anyway, yeah. Um, so we'd have to like take these like giant <laughs> buckets like to the coin star. We take like three buckets at a time, and we'd spend like literally like an hour, an hour or two just pouring the. Like the bucket in. How much did those machines make? Those machines? Yeah. Yeah. But man, like, like those kids, like they were hilarious. I remember one kid, he told me, he asked me, like, if I, like, like if I rap for you, can I get a free lunch? <laughs> and I'm like, only if you're good. And he started rapping, and I'm like, no, you're paying me. <laughs> so he got to the end of this like five minute rap, and I'm like, nah, man. Like, was he upset? Yeah, and I'm like, I, 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 you know what? I feel like I'm doing you a favor by crushing your dreams. It's over, buddy. <laughs> it it paid up, man. You're ruthless. <laughs> And then my dad, my dad came up and he's like, maybe you shouldn't be at the front. <laughs> How old were you when you did that? Man, that was like a year ago. <laughs> That's like two years ago. Oh my God. Yeah. But you know what, like, uh, it's actually really funny. My, like, my dad would have more trouble dealing with the teachers than he would the students. Really? Yeah, like, the teachers are very entitled people. What would they want? Like, they would come into the... They wouldn't even come in like, like, like through the front of the cafeteria, right? They would actually come in through the, the entrance that me and my dad used. Mm -hmm. And they would just take stuff. Jeez. 
and so uh, I think it was one of the teachers, some lady, she came in and she started like serving herself a poutine. And I'm like, I walked to the back and I'm like, hey man, that's like five dollars. Like, are you gonna pay? And she told me I know your dad. And I'm like, well, oh, I remember this story. I remember this story. <laughs> so, I don't know you though. <laughs> There's all the fun. Yeah. We try to get most of it in the in the garbage, yeah. but uh, very good. It's gonna be good.